talk to you about a quite a common subject for Greek uh, daily news the last uh, 12 years and about uh, the separation or not between state and uh, church. Uh, the issue of state and church relations should be examined uh, carefully and in detail so as to reveal that uh, while the Orthodox Church and the Greek state are two sides of uh, the same coin in Greece. Uh, according to Orthodox faith to Christianity, uh, the Church is a holy organization found by Jesus Christ as to save and bless a uh, faithful, which includes all people that have faith in Jesus as God and Savior of the world. This uh, definition is actually dogmatic, uh, making reference to the nature of the Church and diachronically describing its visible side that exists and fights by our side. Uh, when I'm talking about the visible side, its visible side, I mean uh, uh, clergy and people. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the concept of the state is much simpler. State is a society of people who are established in a country that exercises sovereign and independent power on its members, assuming the form of a legal person. This uh, concept uh, has been discussed by great philosophers such as Plato, Aristotle, Kikero, Rousseau, Locke, Machiavelli, etc. However, according to another interesting definition, state is the entire organized administration system of a country, including its instruments, citizens, elected leaders, and the law pursuant to which the state operates. At the conceptual level, one may claim that state and church are two clearly distinct indivi individual and autonomous institutions recall responding to different human needs both at the spiritual and the practical level. As a matter of fact, this <coughs> nature of human exercise has been disregarded throughout the course of human history, resulting to negative results for social life by either overstressing material needs or exalting human spirituality. The issue of the relations between uh, state and church in Greece is following a steady course without uh, fluctuations. Uh, since the outburst of the 1827 uh, revolution until today, there have been some periods of tension uh, when the issue has been an object of political discussions, causing deep social and mostly ideological conflicts, as there have been periods of calm when such issues were only discussed by experts like uh, legal scientists, theologians, and historians. Uh, however, when this issue attracts the attention of politicians and journalists, it has great intensity and leads to rather hot-blooded views. The oldest uh, example dates back to the conflicts for the autocephaly of the Greek church, which began in period, uh, during the period 1833 and 1850. Two more recent examples include the 1970-87 conflict on church property and the 2000 global conflict regarding the indication of religion or Greek identity cards. What's more important is that these issues are not examined independently but in relation to the European average, the European development model and generally the Western institutional models of the constitutional state. As regards the Greek history, relations between state and the church have been shaped throughout three distinct stages, the Byzantine era, the Turkish occupation period, and the period of the sovereign Greek state. Sovereign Greek state, uh, I mean, after the, uh, the revolution of 1827 till today. Uh, theologically, we can easily say that according to the Orthodox Church and the Christian faith, uh, both powers share a common origin in the threefold uh, goal, and there is a differentiation as regards the essence and the boundaries of this power. This is uh, the, 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 the view uh, depending uh, on uh, theology. Uh, based on Greek uh, constitution, I mean now politically, uh, Article 3, which defines Orthodox faith as the main prevailing religion, is only one of many constitutional dispositions which regulate the relations uh, between the state and the Orthodox Church. According to the renowned uh, Greek constitutional expert, Evangelos Danizelos, this uh, disposition is not regular, regulatory but complementary, which means that the relation between the state and the church, and uh, when I'm talking about church, I mean in general not only Christian Orthodox Church, but uh, other also religious organizations, will continue to be constitutionally regarded even in the case of a revisory parliament. However, 
it is worth mentioning that the constitutional framework of the Greek state, pursuant to Article 13, Paragraph 1 of the Constitution, defines religious freedom as a fundamental individual right, protecting different religions and avoiding the abuse of Article 3 of the Constitution, which refers to the existence of one prevailing religion. When reading or hearing the views of those who support uh, separation, it is clear that there is a lack of substantial arguments. These people often relate the state-church uh, separation to the establishment of obligatory civil weddings, civil oath-taking, civil funerals and burials, as well as cremation, or even to abolishment of the disposition on blasphemy against divine symbols and the restriction of conversion and religious sects. The European Union, founded upon the principle of subs uh, subsidiarity and adopting the open coordination method in the European Lisbon Summit during May 2000, is continuing its course to integration with more solidarity and mutual, su mutual support. Uh, those, our country, I mean Greece, needs to follow this orientation of European development and consequently regulate the issue of state-church relations. The nature of these relations in Greece may differ as mentioned above, but can can coexist uh, with the European uh, reality, within European reality. Uh, there is an imperative need for supranational cooperation to address the issues faced by European nations, such as the financial crisis that affects Europe, and not only, uh, in the past four years, without eliminating the existing particularities among member states. It is actually the pluralism of characteristics and mentalities and the multicultural nature of Europe that give life and color to the democratic political systems found within the European borders. Uh, consequently, Greek governments in representation of the state should always abide by the provisions of the Greek constitution and respect and protect the rights of different religions and religious organizations. Apart from the prevailing religion as defined in Article 3 of the constitution, as I before. Greek governments should not apply the aforementioned article in this regard of Article 13 uh, on uh, religious freedom. On the other hand, it should not condemn or uproot through laws and dispositions, uh, an institution which is constitutionally re regulated and uh, intentionally linked to the history of the Greek nation. As Greek uh, constitutions, and as a final uh, conclusion, uh, both the state and the Orthodox Church should uh, still continue the effort to smoothen their relations by preserving their independence within a framework of harmonious coexistence. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, Christine, would you like? Uh,